Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for the Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight with story 488, I think, with a book called The Treasure by Yuri Shulevitz. A Caldecott Honor Book Medal winner. And here on the Lights Out podcast, we are getting close to the halfway mark of a thousand ad free stories forever for boys and girls around the world. But back to the story, because it's all about the story. Once upon a time, there was once a man, and his name was Isaac. He lived in such poverty that again and again he went to bed hungry. One night he had a dream and in his dream a voice told him to go to the capital city and look for a treasure under the bridge by the royal palace. It's only a dream, he thought when he woke up and he paid no attention to it. The dream came back a second time, and Isaac still paid no attention to it. When the dream came back a third time, he said, maybe this is true. And so he set out on his journey. Now and then, someone gave him a ride, but most of the way, he walked. He walked through forests, he crossed over mountains. Finally, he reached the capital city. But when he came to the bridge by the royal palace, he found that it was guarded day and night. He did not dare to search for the treasure, yet he returned to the bridge every morning and wandered around until dark. One day, the captain of the guards asked him, Why are you here? And Isaac told him the dream. The captain laughed. Ah, you poor fellow, he said. What a pity. You wore your shoes out for a dream. Listen, if I believe the dream I once had, I will go right now to the city you came from and I look for a treasure under the stove in the house of a fellow named Isaac. And he laughed again. Isaac bowed to the captain and started on his long way home. He crossed over mountains. He walked through forests. Now and then, someone gave him a ride. But most of the way, he walked. At last he reached his own town. When he got home, he dug under his stove. And there he found the treasure. In thanksgiving, he built a house of prayer, and in one of the corners he put an inscription. Sometimes one must travel far to discover what is near. Isaac sent the captain of the guards a priceless ruby, and for the rest of his days he lived in contentment, and he was never poor again. The end of a great book called The Treasure by Yuri Shulevitz here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and people looking for treasure around the world. Good night.